Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habati fillah I thought it would be pertinent and relevant and very beneficial for us very short in a very brief uh, sitting uh, to go through what our Shaykh Shaykh Suleiman al-Rahili hafadhallahu ta'ala how he answered with regards to some of the thick rulings per, uh, pertaining to performing tarawih in our homes. Because during this trying time, as we know, we are <clears throat> restrained with regards to uh, our normal routine during the holy month of Ramadan. So this uh, is something that I hope that will bring light. And you can find the PDF online, which... Uh, is translated into English, very beneficial. And it is called Thick Rulings Pertaining to Performing the Tarawih Prayer in Our Homes. And it's by Sheikh Suleiman Ar-Rahili Hafidhullahu Ta'ala, one of our Mashaykh in Medina. So the Sheikh began, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Most mosques will not be holding the Tarawih prayer this year because of the exceptional circumstances we are facing. This is in total agreement with the objectives of the shara. So here he's talking about the maqasid, the sh sharia, the uh, objectives of the sharia. And with him being a fiqhi, being known for his fiqh deen, he is definitely one of those scholars to return to in these types of affairs. Uh, he says, glad tidings. Those who were consistent in praying tarawih in the mosques, in the previous years, will receive the reward of that which they used to do. So your reward will be the same because now you just have something that's pro, uh, preventing you from being able to go to the masjids. Those who did not used to pray Taraway in the previous years, but were determined to do so this year in the masjid, they too will receive the reward of praying Taraway in the mosque. So the reward will be the same because your niyyah, this goes back to the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Verily actions are tied to the intentions and everyone shall get that for which he intended. So then it was asked, what are the legal rulings regarding the establishment of tarawih at home? He says, it is sunnah. It is recommended that we all pray the tarawih prayer in our homes. And what is the best way to pray Tarawih at home? He says, it is better to pray in congregation with one's family, with a person's family. Uh, can we pray alone? Yes, it is permissible, but praying in congregation is better. What should one recite from the Quran in the Tarawih prayer? Because not everyone is a hafid. Most of the people are not hafid. He says, recite that which you have memorized, but it it." <clears throat> it can be a short surah or a few short surahs, and these can can be recited repeatedly throughout your prayer. Meaning, you can recite uh, the same uh, surah just to to pray. You know, it's not prohibiting nothing prohibiting you from reciting even the same surah. And then, can one recite from the mushaf, meaning from the from the the Quran itself, by holding the Quran in their hand while they are praying? He says, yes, this is permissible. Should we perform the qanut in the tarawih prayer, meaning the dua, uh, when we pray the witr? He says, yes, it is legislated. It is permissible to do so from the beginning of Ramadan up until the end. However, as far as... Uh, however, as for the last half of Ramadan, then it is not just permissible, but it is highly recommended to perform the qanut as was established by our righteous predecessors, meaning the Salaf al-Saleh or the uh, pious predecessors uh, from the mutaqaddimin, from the ulama. He says, what, uh, when, when should one perform the Tarawih prayer at home? One should do what is easy for him. If it does not make any difference to you, then it is better to pray in the last part of the night. So, it is better. So, it is better to pray it, meaning turn away in the last part of the night, if this is easy for you. You can pray it straight after Isha prayer and the first part of the night, if this is easier for you out of fear of falling asleep or becoming lazy and missing the prayer, or becoming overcome with drowsiness 
whilst praying. Also, likewise, a uh, maybe some of, uh, there's still many people who do have to work. They, there, there's no, uh, there's no, uh, allowance for their, the holy month of Ramadan. Some people drive trucks, some people, uh, work in stores, some people work for Amazon, people work in all kinds of businesses, Walmart, whatever. And some people have a full schedule, a busy schedule as, as a normal schedule. So then for them, if they fear that they will not be able to uh, stay up and delay the prayer, then pray it right after Salat al-Isha. Begin to pray your Taraweeh, but try not try your best to not leave it, even if it's just uh, a few rakat, even if it's four rakat, and then uh, uh, a fifth one for witr or something similar to this. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless our Sheikh, uh, Sheikh Suleiman al-Raheli, Hafiz Allah Ta'ala, bless him in his health and bless him in his dunya wal akhira. Also the translator of this document and the one who checked it and the one who sent it to me as well. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala bless us all and protect us all and forgive us all. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.